So what is happening in the world? Why is Islam protected uh, and yet criticism of Islam is regarded as somehow dangerous? Because we fear Islam. Islam is the dominant cultural force right now. Right now, the West has an identity crisis. We don't even know what our laws are going to be. We don't know what our values are. We've kind of rejected Christianity. We're erasing our statues, tearing our history down, changing our anthems like we have in Canada. We have an identity crisis. Islam knows who they are. They know what they want. They want a global caliphate. And so Islam is dominating the Western world. And right now, this is just an inkling of what the future is going to look like. There's still a minority in Western countries. And while all these people will tout open borders, multiculturalism, as soon as Islamists become over 50% of your population, you will see your country looking exactly like any Islamic nation in the world. And suddenly the LGBT activists won't be as happy, happy. about this open borders situation. <laughs> suddenly the liberal women that are being stoned for the crime of rape will start to realize what they've gotten themselves into. And I fear that it may have to get to these horrific points before people wake up and open their eyes. But Lauren, let me ask you, I mean, we, we've seen, for example, in Sweden, uh, that the white, na the native born yeah. white Swedes will be a minority, I think by 2040 is what they're saying. But in yeah. part, not just because of migration, but because of the fertility of the immigrant population. And so I've got two questions for you. One is, you know, what does Lauren Southern say is the right approach? I mean, if you will say, you, you will say you're not a racist, um, as the sort of accusers will make mm -hmm. out, but you are seemingly uh, supporting the right of European culture to defend itself against adversaries and competitors. Um, but B, if a culture is simply much more fertile then doesn't it deserve to inherit the earth? Well, not when it was put... It was never put to a referendum. No one in Sweden or Canada or Australia, for that matter, was asked, do you want people with a completely different culture to immigrate here and create their own cultural enclaves? No one was asked. We believe in the right to sovereignty for every nation and every people in the world. And we respect that. No one is ever telling the Japanese, destroy your culture. You must bring in tons of Koreans. You must bring in tons of Africans. Or you are a racist, bigoted nation. No one would say this to Nigerians. They have the right to protect their culture. In fact, we consider it cultural genocide against people like the native population in Canada when they were forcefully assimilated into the European population. So why do European nations not have the right to protect their sovereignty and their identity, their history and their future? We shouldn't see it any different than any other race. I don't put Europeans on a pedestal. I say they have just as much right to preserve their identity as we believe the importance of the indigenous identities, the importance of African identities, of Asian identities. Uh, part, part of the problem which that your policeman friend uh, unwittingly stumbled across was he used the term highly religious. Yes. He said you can't walk down outside the mosque, Lauren, because they're highly religious, as if this somehow gave a force field around their ideas and their attitude and their culture. Um, you know, we can debate how religious Islam is or isn't, uh, but it's the Po it's the pol political ideology that you're, and the cultural identity that you're criticising, not the religion. Yet the religion acts again as a force field to prevent criticism, correct? Right. Well, people have to understand where these religions came. If someone said it was a highly Christian area, I wouldn't be concerned because Christianity is actually what formed much of the West and most of our freedoms. And the reason for that is Christianity is based on choice. You can choose to follow God. You can choose to say goodbye. You, you choose to eat from the tree of good and evil, right? It's all based on these choices that you make, and God gives you that free choice. Whereas Islam has always been based on submission. You submit to Allah, and you cannot leave or you will be killed. So is that a religion that is compatible with Western culture? No. And very well, have your faith. If everyone agrees with you and wants to live in a society under Sharia law, have that. But there was never a referendum here in Australia to bring that here. It was enforced and imposed on us by a small group of elites, as it has been all over much of the Western world.